So police are looking for two men who broke down the door of a Raytown home this morning and held the family inside at gunpoint. Lindsay Shively talked to neighbors who heard the commotion. She's live at 85th and Everett now. Lindsay? Mark, no one was hurt, but this family is just bewildered after two armed men who they've never seen before barged into their home looking for a man they've never met. Justice just got home from taking her kids to school when the family dog started acting strangely. It was a suspicious bark. It was a, an alert bark. Her husband, Kelvin, looked out and saw what he called a suspicious vehicle in his neighbor's driveway. As soon as he could get back in the bed and lay back down with me, pop, 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 let off. It just kind of echoed the whole block, so. Those gunshots came from their neighbor across the street. Police say a man, woman, and baby were inside this house when two men with guns broke down the door and demanded to see Robert. The family who lives here has no idea who Robert could be. Neither does their landlord. We've owned the property for about three years, and we've never had anybody under the name Robert living there. The landlord came to check on the house and the family, who told him the men demanded money. Police say the men held the family at gunpoint and searched the house until the man who lived here grabbed a gun and started shooting. The suspects took off in that vehicle Kelvin had seen, a white SUV. The engine, we heard him gun it, and we heard the bullets at the same time. Now this family is glad their two children had just gone to school. And just to know that something's that close to home, it just puts me more on alert. And the family who lives here is recovering. They're obviously a little bit shaken up, but they're doing a okay. Everybody's safe and healthy. And so right now, police are still looking for those suspects. Two African-American men, about 25 years old. One was about 5 foot 8, weighing 150 pounds with a neatly trimmed mustache, a short Afro-style haircut, and a medium to dark complexion. The other man was about 6 foot tall, weighing 165 pounds. His hair resembled dreadlocks, about 3 inches long, and was described as having bug eyes. If you have seen these men or have any information that can help police, please call the TIPS hotline. That number is 474-TIP. Now, who is this Robert? We've been asking around. One neighbor said the previous tenants here did have a friend who came over named Robert. Whether or not that is the man that these two men were looking for this morning, we still don't know. And I also talked to the woman uh, who lives inside this home that was involved in all of this this morning. She says that weapon in their house just happened to be nearby when all of this happened. We're live in Raytown. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.